A port is where a project has reached a place where people who are working with it don't necessarily want to take that project in the direction that the rest of the project want to go. Port is when you take the open source, like source code, and basically make it your own in a way that you may add enhancements to it. A fork in software development is kind of like when you're going on a trip with a bunch of friends and you really like the trip that you're going on and then you decide that you're going to go off onto a fork in the road and build your own version of that trip. You kind of copy the whole thing to do an implementation of your own idea, of your own changes in your own namespace, in your own world. Then you forward the project. So with most open source licenses, you can take the code and do whatever you want with it. Enhance it with signatures, especially important for your audience. You take that software, you take what you like about it, and maybe you build up upon it and bring and build something new that's also great. Forks are sometimes looked at with a little bit of criticism because it yeah. could be a sign that the community sort of failed a little bit and didn't get, you know, really good collaboration. So fork is the actual action of taking the source code of it from a repository and use it to a certain extent where you can customize the code to your basic needs. And then at a certain point, you can push back into the main repository and it becomes like the new source code. Forks can be positive too, because it could lead to new innovation and then it benefits the entire ecosystem. Something that goes back to the source but on itself, it's a little bit different than the forest. 